Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to another instalment of Hook Up Hints with Scott and Mick. Today, Mick, we're going to talk about one of the most frustrating parts of fishing. Yep. When you're out there to try and target those bigger fish, getting those live baits. Getting live baits, yeah. It's definitely been the bane of our existence a few times, but we've found a few little um, tricks and tips that will hopefully lead to you guys making it a bit of an easier experience. Absolutely. So in order to catch your live baits, to catch these bigger fish, you need to find them. So that can be harbours, headlands, areas like that. The main Wolves, libraries, yep. yeah. And the main libraries we're looking at, Mig, we're talking what? Jack Max, yep. Koheru, Koheru, Kahawai. Little, little Kahawai, yep. and um, sometimes Trevally can be can make for some quite good libraries as well. Absolutely. The cool thing with the Kahawai, Koheru and Mackerel, Jack Max is that there's no legal size, so any a small one will be all good. Trevally, they've got the minimum size obviously, so make sure that your live bait is legal before you chuck a hook through its back and uh, send it out. Send it out there. We've got a sounder, we're pretty fortunate to have good technology on our boat. Looking for bait skills, looking for things which indicate where live bait are holding and areas where they might be holding. So finding the Mackie skills is ideal. Yep, that's yep. It. and that generally shows up as big balls of sign, sort of up off the bottom, so it could be anywhere between just a few metres under the boat right down towards the bottom as well, as long as you're seeing a nice big ball of sign, um, that's what you're looking for, for for generally mackerel and sometimes koheru mackerel. Yep. Um, and then car wire, as long as you're close to the coast, close to generally close to shore, you'll find a few kawai if you chuck a bit of burley in the water. Yep. Targeting kawai, pretty simple. We just like to cast little soft baits around, generally something with a paddle tail on it, or your little kawai spinners, little lures like this. Cast them around, retrieve them, or just do the classic trolling around through the bird workups and stuff like that. Yep. Now your Jack Max, what we find with that, Mig? Yep. Speakies. Jack Max, they're generally, generally in much bigger schools. Um, and we're, with targeting the Jack Max, we generally find that these um, sabikis and bait flies do a really, really good job. Um, obviously with four hooks there, you're able to potentially catch four of them and that's not uncommon. Yep. And um, they do work really well and when it comes to the action, it's pretty simple. You drop that down through the bait school that you're finding on your sounder. Hopefully you can either drift through or hold the boat over top of them um, by reversing back into the wind. Um, and then it's just a case of slowly winding up through those bait schools, dropping back down again. So as long as you've got a little bit of movement, a little bit of action, um, generally they'll come on the chew. Important sort of combo to use for something like that would be something like a smaller, lighter soft bait rod like we use here. Yep. Um, and just nice light drag, you don't want to crank the drag, you don't want to wrestle them in because they're only small hooks and obviously they've got soft mouths so just get them nice and gentle, lift them in the boat and then pop them in your live bait tank. Yep, if you're fishing a little bit deeper you can sometimes add a little extra weight onto the bottom. Yep. Not too much, you still want it to be a little bit natural, you definitely notice if you put on too much weight the hook up rate definitely goes down, so just a little bit extra weight can sometimes help as well. That's right. Now another dynamite live bait is a koheru. They're a little blue fish, look a bit like a mackie, bit bigger, bit more energy. Now you're gonna find those, not necessarily in the harbours, but out around headlands and islands where there's reefs and usually cleaner water. So look for the bluer, cleaner water. If you get a little bit of burley in the water, generally they'll show up. So if you can throw a few of these lures around and let it drop down out of sight, um, generally they'll be holding a little bit deeper sometimes, and then hopefully they'll come up with the burley. Yeah, it's a pretty simple action. We just drop that down. That's just a little savage psycho sprat. Great little lure. Just let that down. So we drop that sort of through where we think the bait might be holding. And I'll just work it back like a soft bait. Just twitching, wind, twitch, wind, twitch. Just little action like that. Get that sort of thing flicking its way up like a jig. And then they'll just hit it. You'll be on. It works surprisingly well for those koheru and not much else does. So little single hooks with a nice fresh little bit of bait on there does work pretty well, but these psycho sprat jigs do outfish them 10 to 1. Um, really, really effective for those kohedu. Filling that live bait tank up. So obviously you are getting live so the means to keep them alive is important and looking after them. They need to be really looked after and nurtured almost, so keep the fresh water going into your live bait tank. Try not to handle them, if at all, um, and then yeah, that way when you do present it to a big, hungry, wary fish, it's going to have the most best chance of hooking that fish up because it's going to look very much alive and erratic, and that's what brings that fish on the chew. Yep, so if you can spend the time, and do spend the time to get your liveies, it can make for a pretty dynamite session. In the corner of the mouth here. I'm that leader. <laughs> He's a solid one, He's mate. a beast. He's a solid one. Am I gonna grab this tail solid enough? Oh, it's close. Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> get it, drag him in. How's that for the first fish of the day? <laughs> yes. Me. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, mean fish. Absolutely stoked. 